be the first. I want to be the best. I want to be an Olympic swimmer. I want to be made. Okay. I want to be Tara Strastis. That's me, Jesse Shaben. I've worked at Quiznos for a little over two months now. I mean, I really like toasting subs and all, but I feel like there's so much more I could be doing with my life. That's why I want to be made into an Irish dancer like Tara Strasdis. And who's that? Well, that's Matt. He's an all-star wrestler, and he loves girls who Irish dance. Isn't he super dreamy? I would do anything to win his affection. pretty popular in school. I mean, all of the teachers seem to like me. I guess I'm just a pleasure to have in class. I get really good grades, too. Hi, Jesse Shaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Joe is starting to like the best Irish dancer ever. <laughs> That's right, girlfriend, and I'm here to train you. I wasn't expecting to meet my maid coach when I was just walking down the hallway, but when I saw Joe Cassara, I was so excited. He is really like an Irish dancing phenomenon. Now you may think Irish dancing is easy, but it takes hard work and determination to be the best. Oh my god, I know, but like, I really want this. I will work so hard. So hard. Okay, the first step in being a great Irish dancer is being comfortable wearing a wig. The when Joe told me I had to wear the wig, I was really excited but also a little nervous because I've never been able to wear wigs before because I have an unusually shaped head and also because they're really expensive, so I really wanted to do a good job on this task. My very own Irish dancing wig. Many a night I've dreamed of having my own. Your assignment today is to introduce yourself to five people wearing that wig. Okay, I can do that. Shaven. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Meehan. Did you get a haircut? Just a little. Hi, Mrs. Cuera. You're crazy. How are you, Nobel? Hey, Tom, what's up? Hi. Not much, Jesse. What's new with you? Nothing. Saturday morning, is it good? Oh, hi, Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> When Tara's friend Jerry, well she calls him Brosif, but I call him Jerry because we're not really friends, but when he threw up after I said hi to him, it kind of made me feel bad a little, but then I was like, if I really want to be an Irish dancer, this is what I have to deal with, so I got over it. You did very well yesterday. Now today I need you to keep your hands by your sides at all times. A real Irish dancer always walks with her hands by her side. Aye, aye. This was the hardest task yet. I really take for granted the mobility of my upper body. When I couldn't use the water fountain or open doors, it was really frustrating. I don't know how people who don't have arms live. Thank God for automatic flush. Are you kidding me? <laughs> not believe you're not doing what I asked. You're not dedicated. Tell me you want this. Because if you don't, I'm just wasting my time. Tell me you want it. I want it! I want it! This is day three of your final transformation into an Irish dancer. It's make it or break it. But don't be nervous or anything. But what do I have to do? You need to wear this boot now every day. Oh, we're working your foot and you need to wear this. No! I don't want to wear the boot. But I will. <laughs> Cute boot. I like that. Where
Where'd you get it? I can't do this anymore. I gotta get this boot off. I gotta get this boot off. This is driving me crazy. This is driving me crazy. I gotta get it off. The boot. It was really a love-hate relationship I had with the boot. I understand that I needed it so that I could dance, but I just, I can't even, I just. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I guess you don't have what it takes to be an Irish dancer. I guess this trophy goes to me for trying to deal with you. No, no, give it to me, no! <laughs> I didn't get the trophy. Uh... I guess Irish dancing just wasn't for me. But as for Matt, I'm gonna keep on trying.